everyone. Today we're talking about principal parts. And we're also going to be talking about the infinitive, but we're going to start by talking about principal parts of a verb. So Latin verbs have typically four principal parts, and so far we've talked about first and second conjugation. So I'm going to write a first for first conjugation and a second for second conjugation and give you the basic endings for these. So for a first conjugation verb, our first principal part is going to end in O, and then our second principal part will end in RA, A-R-E, and then our third principal part will end in AVI, A-V-I, and our fourth principal part will end in ATUM, A-T-U-M. Okay, and that is the pattern for all principal parts that are first conjugation for all the verbs that we've learned so far. And second conjugation verbs will have this pattern. So EO or EO, and then the second principal part, ERE, and the third principal part, UI, and the fourth principal part, ITUM. So these are the basic endings for the principal parts for first and second conjugation. Now we're going to go through a couple of examples of each of these, starting with first conjugation. So for first conjugation, we'll use the verb clamo. So clamo, clamare, clamawi, and we're going to write a room here, put the fourth principal part down here, clamatum. Okay, and clamo of course means to shout. Okay, and so as you see with first conjugation verbs, we have o, are, awi, atom. And you could think of it as drop the o, right, and then add are, awi, atom. And you can do that for every verb, so whether it's amo, or laboro, or curo, or ambulo, doesn't matter. Okay, they all fit that same pattern. Okay, second conjugation verbs. Let's use as our example for second conjugation habeo. So habeo, habere, habui, and habitum. Of course, habeo means to have. Okay, so our general pattern for second conjugation will be eo, ere, ui, itum. But there is some variance, uh, some difference here. Uh, for instance, if we have the verb dokeo, let's consider that verb. So dokeo, dokere, Dokui doctum. And dokeo means to teach. And so you see in the fourth principal part here with dokeo, there's no I, right? It's a small change, it's a little tiny change, uh, but it's important to know. Okay, so and and really with the principal parts you have to memorize them. Okay, there there are patterns to them, but you just have to memorize them. For instance, let's look at this verb, wideo. So wideo Widere. And then the third principal part, weedy, that's way different, weedy, and then weesome. And wideo means to see. So, especially in the third and fourth principal parts, wideo looks a lot different from uh, doke or habeo, from dokui or habui, right? And so you just have to memorize these principal parts. That's really important. Uh, the third and fourth principal parts we're not going to use a lot currently uh, in the stuff we're talking about, uh, but they will become really important later. Right now we're, ma we're mostly focused on the first principal part and the second principal part, which leads us to the next thing, and that is the infinitive. Okay, the infinitive is the second principal part. Okay, 
So whatever the second principal part of the verb is. So here are examples of infinitives. Amare, uh, monere, ewidere. So any second principal part of a verb is an infinitive. And the infinitive is important because we use the infinitive to conjugate the verb. Remember we take away the RE from the infinitive to find the stem of the verb. And the infinitive also has a special translation. And the infinitive means to. And then whatever the meaning of the verb is. So amare would be to love. And monere would be to warn. And widere would be to see. So when we say infinitive, that means in English it means to. That's what the infinitive means. Okay, to walk, to run, uh, to jump. Right? Those are to swim. Those are infinitives in English. But in Latin it means the second principal part of the verb. And for first conjugation, that's going to be a r e. And for second conjugation, it's going to be e r e. Okay, so those are infinitive forms. Okay, and that's all for uh, today, and see you next time.